I suppose what everybody wants to know is this an alternative to caloric testing or this supplant caloric testing or is this an addition to caloric testing? I think the way I think about it is that the first test I would always do is a head impulse test because it's so easy to do. If the head impulse test is truly negative, measured by video vestibulometry with the, with the video goggles, if it truly is negative and you're still suspicious that the patient does have a vestibular problem, obviously you're going to need more tests. That might be a case for asking for a caloric test or asking for a vestibular myogenic potentials, which are really the three types of vestibular tests that we do have. So how I look on calorics, they'll become a specialized test, largely in people in whom the head impulse test is negative, yet you still suspect an ongoing active peripheral vestibulopathy. Thank <laughs> you.